Hello, welcome to part two of my League of Legends roundup for April 16th. We have the um, LCS matchup between TL and 100 Thieves from this evening that just finished up not even 10 minutes ago. Um, took the notes on the games. If you haven't watched one of these videos before, I take the notes. I save you the time of watching a five-game series. If you didn't catch it right now and you're trying to you know, figure out what happened the next day or a few hours later and you just don't have time. So what happened? Um, in a five game series, I mean, you don't have four hours to watch and I mean, that's the purpose of this. So, um, game one, as you see here, it's like it, it progressively, um, I mean, TL dominates game one, game two, hundred thieves, pretty dominant game three, um, game four is closer, hundred thieves favorite. And then game five is definitely the closest, um, exciting ending to the, um, to the series. So. Game one, TL started off by getting a 2v2 kill. Um, that turns into an Infernal. Um, this early, I mean, they dominated this game, obviously, 16 to 2. 100 Thieves gets one of their two kills at 11 minutes in a fight that goes 1 to 1 for Hextech. Um, TL then go bot. They get a kill mid. They're up 5k gold by 15 minutes. They then get a kill in the jungle, turn that into a mountain. 100 Thieves get their second kill of the game at 18 minutes. Um, TL get a pick, and as of 20 minutes, TL are up. 8k gold, 8-2 in kills, Bjergsen is 3-1-3 and at the time. Um, as I write that, TL wins a fight 3-0 in mid, Han Sama with a double. That turns to a Baron, 11k lead, and then they end a minute later, 5-0 in bot, Han Sama with a quadra. I mean, like I said, that game one was extremely clean. Um, can go over that quite quickly. Uh, game two, pretty clean as well. Uh, 100 Thieves would get first blood in this one, though, at four minutes by going bot lane. Um, then there's a skirmish in mid. Two skirmishes in mid, actually. First one goes one to one. Second time, TL gets the kill. Um, nine minutes, a third instance where there's a skirmish in mid. So between six and nine minutes, three times mid lane was the um, priority for both teams. Um, TL win it the third time. 2-0, uh, Bwipo with both kills. Um, TL then take a hex tech off of that. Um, they get a kill in bot. Someday solo kills Bwipo on top. Someday did very, very well on the Orn in this series. Um, he played Orn in games one, three, four, and five. In these three games, he played great. In game two, even on the Trindomir, he played very well. Bwipo really struggled in this series. Um, got cute with some picks and it just, it didn't work for him. Um, so at 15 minutes, TL have a slight gold lead 1k. Um, Santorin is 0-1-5, 100% one kill participation. Um, they're up 5-3 in kills. Between 13 and uh, 20 minutes, we have no kills. TL take a mountain, and then um, the kill drought ends at 20 minutes when they win a fight 3-0 to go to Ocean Soul Point. Um, that puts them up 6k gold. Two minutes later, 100 Thieves will win a fight 4-1 someday. Carrying with a double kill to get them the Baron. That cuts the gold deficit to 3.5k for them. That Baron would be short-lived. TL winning a fight in mid a minute later, 4-0. Han Sama with a double. So after the Baron is over, TL are up 13-8, to 5k gold. Santorin is 2-2-11. and 11. Still has 100% kill participation. Um, because they're so far ahead, TL take the Ocean Soul outright. And then at 30 minutes, when a fight in the jungle, 5-0, Han Sama with his second quadra of the game. So, TL dominant, Han Sama dominant. Um, I mean, they were just crushing it through the first two games. Um, game three, uh, 100 Thieves just flip a switch. Um, there's a skirmish in, in bot that goes one-to-one -one at four minutes. TL get a kill to take an ocean at seven minutes. And as you see here, TL only gets three kills. So at seven minutes, TL were ahead in kills, had two of their three for the whole game. They would then get their third kill at nine minutes, 1-1 um, one, one in mid, someday getting a solo kill on, on Bwipo in top lane, similar to what happened in game two. We have a skirmish one place as someday solo kills Bwipo elsewhere. So as of nine minutes, Tim and Liquid don't get any more kills. Um, and the game goes till 31 minutes. So 100 Thieves get a Rift Herald. Um, when they do that, TL take an Infernal. But at 15 minutes, it's 4-3 in kills. Game is still tied. Um, 100 Thieves get a pick to take a Hextech Drake. They wouldn't get two kills in mid to take, um, I mean, just get two kills in mid at 20 minutes to get Pryo over the Baron. Um, 
The Baron skirmish was interesting. They got two kills top. They started the Baron. They got forced off the Baron, winning a fight 3-0. Abadage with a double. Then they finally did take a game with 6K gold lead. They take a Hextech Drake with the Baron. Um, after the Baron's over, they're up 7.5K gold. So between 15 and 23 minutes, they gained 7.5K gold. They're up 12-3. Closers 3-0 and 8. Um, two minutes later, 100 Thieves win a fight in top 2-0. They then take another Baron at 30 minutes, puts them up 9K. Um, when they do that, TL go to Hextech Soul Point, opposite side of the rift. TL say, fine, we'll give you Baron, we'll take Hextech Drake. Um, with the Baron, 100 Thieves end 4-0. Um, final score, 18-3. Now, as you see here, 9-5. Um, game 4 was definitely the slowest of the games. Um... TL would open it up by going top lane at four minutes. 100 Thieves say fine. We'll take an ocean a couple minutes later. Um, 100 Thieves then steal Rift Herald at eight minutes. Win a fight afterwards 2-0. Um, they use that Rift to dive top that goes one to one. Um, 100 Thieves take a mountain. They go bot. There's a skirmish in the river at 15 minutes. It goes one to one. Um, as of 15 minutes, it's 5-3 100 Thieves. They're up one and a half K gold. Closers 0-0-4. Very reminiscent of how TL got ahead in game two. Um, 15 minutes. I mean, kill score is actually the same. Gold step lead is pretty much the same. Um, actually, honestly, both junglers are on um, Jarvan. So Jarvan's doing work in the early games. Jarvan was a really high prio pick in this series, as was the Viego. Um, 100 Thieves go to Cloud Soul Point before 20 minutes. At 22 minutes, TL win a fight 2-0. Gives them a Baron. Gives them a slight 1k gold lead. We don't have any kills between 20 and 29 minutes where both teams would exchange um, clouds. However, because 100 Thieves were at Cloud Soul Point before 20 minutes, when there's an exchange of clouds over an extended period of time, 100 Thieves eventually took the soul outright. Um, 29 minutes, 100 Thieves take a Baron uncontested that puts the gold deficit to 2.5k. So... During this slow period, um, Team Liquid had gotten that Baron, like I said, gave him a 1k gold lead before these two clouds were exchanged. Um, 100 Thieves kind of let TL scale a bit and get ahead, um, but TL couldn't, I mean, didn't fight. So in the end, they got this lead, but never did anything with it. Um, and with the Baron, 100 Thieves would end 4 0 and bot FBI with a double. Final score 9 to 5. I mean, low-scoring game where TL kind of just allowed 100 Thieves to stay stick around. Um, final game, game five. Um, very, very um, interesting game. Um, I don't have the MVP written down here. I realized it after I hit the record button and looked at the board. Um, so, and I haven't mentioned MVP candidate through the first four games because, honestly, um, I think most players kind of stunk at times in this series um there was nobody that played well in all five games in my opinion um outside of the junglers which makes me want to just say i think closer is the mvp um for 100 thieves or well no actually it's a lie i was talking really good about someday someday had a couple solo kills his game one was rough but the other four games were solid someday's the mvp um so <clears throat> game five tl open it up with a 2v2 kill Second 2v2 kill of the series. As I said, the first kill of this series was a 2v2 kill by TL. Um, but the game is slow. 100 Thieves take a cloud. Um, in 11 minutes, we have our next kill where TL actually gets a kill in mid, but get pushed back anyways because their health bars are so low. 100 Thieves aren't able to take a second Drake as a result. Um, so at 15 minutes, TL are up 2-0, 1.5k one gold. Slow game. Um, 100 Thieves dive top. TL get a pick and take an ocean at 17 minutes. Um, 20 minutes, TL win a fight in mid 2-1. Um, I mean, these fights don't have a lot of kills in them. At 22 minutes, 100 Thieves go to Ocean Soul Point after getting two kills. Um, between 22 and 29 minutes, we have no kills. TL taking an ocean during that time period. There are a lot of windows in this series where there weren't any kills, which is very typical of 100 Thieves and TL. Two veteran-laden teams that just play slow, um, trying not to screw up um, style of play, which is very passive, and it works against teams that stink and make mistakes. But when you're against each other, you end up with a five-game series where games are low-scoring in the end. Um, 
29 minutes, 100 Thieves blow the game wide open. They win a fight in the river 5-0 in front of Baron. Someday and um, FBI with doubles. That allows them to march it down mid. However, TL were able to respawn in time when the Nexus is exposed to win a fight 3-1. Santorin with a double to prevent the end, which forced 100 Thieves to reset. Um, TL would then take a Baron, um, which gave them a slight gold lead, but that's irrelevant. TL take a Baron. Um, and then at 34 minutes after the Baron has subsided, TL try, they have to fight the Drake because, um, like I said, at 22 minutes, 100 Thieves that went to Ocean Soul Point. So um, TL have to try and take this Baron, this um, Drake, otherwise they're going to give Ocean Soul over. So as they're trying to fight for the Drake and they get it, actually, um, Abadagi backdoors on TF to end for 100 Thieves because the Nexus is exposed. So. Final score is 10 to 9 because they tried to stop the backs um, of TL. So, um, yeah. I mean, this was a nice series for 100 Thieves. Shows a lot of um, perseverance to be able to come in reverse sweep a team like TL. Because, I mean, I'll split long. I'll say it. I think TL on paper is the best team in, in, in um, the LCS. And I feel like a lot of people would say that. Um, but 100 Thieves have always been in that second tier. Like, we've always had... TL and C9, and then it's 100 Thieves and EG in the second tier. And 100 Thieves um, played well. Um, final three games, they ran the table on them. And not only that, they played a game five that was close. It wasn't like this where they got, you know, a couple plays and then it was smooth sailing. They had to play a tough game where they had to make decisions on the fly and um, do what they had to do and, and, and play a solid macro game if they wanted to win. And that's what happened in game five. So, um Looking at my board, you know, it just, it, it, it was a great series. Um, tomorrow we have, I believe, EG and C9, so we'll see how that goes. Uh, I think that's the only series for tomorrow. Uh, maybe there's an LPL series in the morning. There is. There is. Um, top and JDG, maybe? No, JDG are out. It's Top and somebody. I think. Probably RNG. No, I think they just played. I don't know who plays tomorrow. Um, I know C9 and EG definitely play tomorrow. Um, comment down below if you have any opinions of your own on how this series went. Um, like the video if you liked it. Subscribe to the channel if you want daily content. I do daily league content. I do all four major regions this way. I cover them. I cover each patch, what teams benefit the most, what teams are, are nerfed by it, you know. Um, even things like what are the most common champion matchups from each patch, you know, different kind of videos and, and, and things like that. So uh, thank you for watching and I hope you come back for more content.